But let's understand, th th we're not here talking about if this is unchecked, then next time something worse will happen. We're, we're at the last stop on the subway line. Um, what has actually happened is th the most aggressive, uh, unfriendly power, foreign power in the world, Russia, the one with which America's interests conflict the most, even more than China, um, has already interfered in an American election in order to install or help to install a candidate who's very friendly to Russian geopolitical interests. I don't know what worse thing there is that the Iranians could do or the Chinese could do. We're here. We face the problem now. Um, and and it, this is so this is not something we, where we have to act prophylactically against the future. We have to deal with the present. What the Russians don't want to do is to continue endlessly for its own sake to interfere in American intellectual elections. Now they're going to recoup the benefit of this interference in Syria, in Ukraine, with the destruction of NATO and the crack up of the European Union, all of which, and all of which, Donald Trump takes exactly the same positions that Vladimir Putin would wish an American president to take.